None of us have the answers, but this is really design thinking. Design thinking has been around for a while, but, and there's lots of kind of different definitions as to what design thinking is. But really, it just comes down to try something, decide if you want to keep going, iterate it, try it again, decide if you want to keep going, iterate it, try again, keep going. And that's actually not how healthcare organizes itself in any way at all. And yet, it really, really needs to. And so these are fundamental challenges that we're, we're looking at, brought about by more personalized forms of demand and the crisis, the financial crisis that looms all, above all of us. So when I do this and I say one size does not fit all, everyone always starts thinking about personalized medicine, genetic medicine, blah, blah, blah. But as I talked about earlier on, that's probably not going to yield the kind of results that we're looking for because the more we've looked at the genome, the less we've understood we have to actually radically change the structures in which we operate if we're going to answer the financial chasm that's right ahead of us. Thank you.